Jason Giacconi spends his days teaching music to Jesuit students. At night, he plays gigs, but two years ago, he decided to do something different with his talent. He heard about Taps Across America that started in 2020. At 3 p.m. local time, people step out of their homes on Memorial Day and play the 24 mournful notes of Taps. It's played to commemorate the members of the U.S. military. In 2020, Jason played outside of the casino in Kenner, overlooking the lake. His wife was his only audience. Then in 2021, Jason played in front of St. Louis Cathedral. This time, it was in honor of his stepfather, who had died the week before at 70. The man who inspired him to be a musician was also a Vietnam veteran. During his time, uh, they gave their ultimate sacrifice, and uh, he he was always proud of his country and proud for what he did, but obviously coming back from the war, they, they were some problems. And uh, he, no matter what people said or did to the soldiers coming back, he, he held his head strong and proud. What Jason didn't know last year when he played in Jackson Square is that there were veterans out there. And then when he was done, something unexpected happened. Had a couple of uh, Desert Storm vets came and, and spoke with me and they go, you know, you don't know how much this means to me. And all of a sudden you start hearing taps and you start remembering things and, and all of the emotions. But they were hugging me and giving me thanks. I just do it for the reverence of, of, the, of the notes and to, to respect those have fallen. And it's, it's truly an honor to, to get to do that. Jason's one rule is that he played next to an American flag. Now on this Memorial Day, he's continuing the tradition. He'll be one of 4,000 people across America doing the same. Jason's one of the four from Southeast Louisiana. Today he stands outside of the National World War II Museum. I hope that the spirit of those that have fallen, uh, people stop to take a moment and give, give thanks for those wonderful men and women that, that ultimately gave their, their, their last sacrifice for us and our freedom. Because for the Gold Star families, Memorial Day is not a moment or even a day. It's a lifetime. Meg Varis, Eyewitness News. If you want to see all the locations of people who join TAPS Across America or sign up for next year, we have a link on our website, wwltv.com.